we are getting data from the Open Weather Map API, and we're using the Start Web Request function in App Lab. And now we're at the point where uh, we've been getting the city, the weather for Boston. But what if our user wants to get where we want to allow our user to select which city to get the weather from? So I've created this screen where the user can choose from the drop-down Boston, New York, or San Francisco. And if we look at the design screen, that drop-down is city drop-down, and that button is the go button. And so if we want to wire up that drop-down so that when we hit the go button, it gets the weather for New York, Boston, New York, or San Francisco, let's wire that up. And we know the first thing to do to make this button work is we have to wire up an on event. So we'll drag an on event into our workspace and we'll say the ID is go underscore button. So when we click the go button, that's when we want to set the city code. So right now we've got the city code hard coded to the Boston city code. So let's delete that because we don't always want the weather from Boston. We're going to set that up here. So we need to do var city code to declare that variable. And we're also going to need a name variable, var city name, to get what they choose from the dropdown. So let's wire this up. So when they hit the go button, we want to get the text from the city dropdown. And what do we want to do with that? We want to save that in the city name variable. So the city name equals get text from the city dropdown. All right, so let's just run that and let's see if that's working. Okay, we're getting this air down here. That's interesting. And what's going on with that? Oh, we've been here before. We've seen this problem. Right now, we are expecting it to get the weather when we hit go, but it's not waiting for us to hit the go button. This start web request is outside of the on event code block. So it's not waiting for this on event. It's just jumping in and starting the web request. And it has no longer has a city code because we delete, deleted that. So that's why we're getting the error. So if we want to fix that, we have to wrap, we'll do Command X and Command V. We have to wrap all this code inside the on event. So now the on event starts up here and finishes down here. And let's fix the tabbing so that we can clearly show that all of this code here is inside our on event, meaning it won't run until we click Go. So let's reset and run and see where we're at. And great, it did not start the web request because we didn't hit go. So now when we hit go, it starts the web request, but it's giving us some errors. The get text ID parameter refers to an ID city dropdown, which does not exist. Hmm. I know I created something on the design screen screen called city dropdown. Let's go look. Uh, here's my dropdown. It's called city dropdown, except it's not. It's called CD dropdown. We need to add an I. So common mistake, and but easy to fix and easy to know because we got a, a an error that told us that our code, our get text from the city dropdown, did not match the ID on our design screen. So now they match, so now it's wired up. So let's just run it and see where we're at. Go, and we're still getting an error because we have not set the city code. So let's do that now. So let's say city name equals get text from the city dropdown, but now we have to set the city code. So if city name double equals Boston, then the city code equals 4930956, the code for Boston. Else, if the city code, the city name rather, chosen from the drop down, double equals New York, then the city code 
equals the code for New York. What is the code for New York? Well, I don't know. Let's go to open weather map. And this is the home page. And we go to the API and we know we're getting current weather data and we look at the API doc and we remember from last time that they prefer we get the city name by city ID. If they want us to do that, they must tell us what where to get a city ID and sure enough, they have a list of city IDs here. We could download that and that's a file with over 2 million lines that tells us the ID of thousands of cities around the world. We have a slightly simpler way of doing it. We can just know, we can search for the weather in New York and then we'll just grab New York City and we can see up in the URL, here's the ID for New York City. And I only know this from reading the documentation and they gave me this little pro tip, 5128581. So we'll bring that back, 5128581 is the city code for New York. And then what if they pick San Francisco, if the city name equals San Francisco, then the city code equals whatever the city code for San Francisco is. And we'll just use our same trick to look for the weather in San Francisco. We've already done this. So the weather in San Francisco is right here. Uh, a few clouds, a little bit cold, but the ID is 539-1959. So we'll just bring that back, 539-1959. And I like in my drop downs to when I'm coding this up to have of the final else case, if they didn't choose Boston, New York, and San Francisco, or if, rather if my code didn't match Boston, New York, or San Francisco, something's wrong because those are the only three choices. So let me just send myself a little message to the console, console.log something's wrong. So if I know if I get here, there's an error in the program. And we'll fix up this triangle. City hasn't been declared yet. Right, because we don't want city, we want city name. Great, let's run it and see what we get. So we run, let's get the weather for New York. And we go and we got the weather for New York. Excellent, so let's get the weather for San Francisco. Go, and we got the weather for New York. But what's wrong? It looks like it's just doubling down on New York. Well, okay, here's what's wrong. We misspelled San Francisco. So if the city name equals San Francisco, all right, that should fix it. Reset, run, drop down, San Francisco, go. Something's wrong. Huh, airline 19. Okay, well, something's wrong before that. We know that we got here, so something was wrong. It wasn't Boston here, so this San Francisco didn't match for some reason. Oh, and I can see it right here. San, no space Francisco, San space Francisco. So on my design screen, on the drop down, I need to add a space to San Francisco so that it matches my code exactly, San space Francisco, and I run it and I pick San Francisco and go, and now we're getting the weather from San Francisco. So we have wired up a dropdown to use different city codes to get weather from different places. So it took a little bit of manual labor to try to find the city codes for New York and San Francisco, and but you know, with a little bit of effort, we could get a dozen cities around the world and we'd have a nice little Weather Now app. Thanks for watching.